open. Good morning, everybody. It's Corey at Peachtree Farm and Greenhouse. I have already picked a full bucket of green beans and now I'm almost halfway full with another one. So I'm out here bright and early this morning trying to beat the heat. Hopefully we can do that. So this is almost halfway full. We've got broccoli, look at there. I just now spotted that out, thought I would show you. Squash is coming on. I'm about this far down. We have already got that bucket down there of green beans. So it's just a picking kind of morning and this tomato vines are full of tomatoes. And if you can't tell, also our watermelons have completely taken over. I can see the end of the row here, but there's a lot more behind me to get. So here we go. We have picked, I say we, it's me this morning. The boys are gone. Y'all are gonna think we're crazy, but they're gone to go get more greenhouses. Uh, somebody was wanting to get rid of them at a really good price, so we need space. And we will now have a greenhouse devoted to just ferns, which is awesome because I love ferns and we wanna grow them bigger and space them out more. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. It's about 5.30, Corbin and I are headed east today we're going about an hour and a half east we bought some greenhouses with a good friend of ours and we're going to go take those down and get ready to bring them back here Everybody say hi to Katie. going come on bear grills almost, yeah. almost. <laughs> keep going Corbin and I have made it back home. We got those three greenhouses tore down with Nick and Katie today. And we're here, we're gonna unload ours here behind our greenhouses until we get a little time, probably this coming winter to put them up. So we're gonna take them from there, put them there. I probably ought to give you a little background on who Nick is. Nick and I have been friends since we were smaller than that guy right there. Uh, I was in his wedding, he was in mine, and we still talk every day. Um, we just go back a long way. 
He's a great guy, got a great family, and they got a great little side hustle going right now with their flower business called Blue House Blooms. So check them out if you're around Lake Cumberland. It'd be a great place to get your wife a bouquet. That is a wrap on unloading the greenhouse. Now just to unload the tools. We decided to put up one more. It's just a small greenhouse. This greenhouse is only about half the size of the ones that we have up currently. They'll be the same length, but just half as wide. And we're gonna do that one just for ferns and vegetable transplants. And that's what we say we're gonna do. I'm sure that'll change as time goes on. But we're just a little overcrowded this past year and wanting to free up a little space in the other greenhouses. So we'll make good use of this one. I want you all to see how muddy it is. We've had storms and rain like crazy. Look at these boots. Yeah, it's good and muddy. I have gotten two and a half buckets of green beans and I'm gonna take a break. All right, so we have picked a bunch of green beans today and I'm imagining that nobody wants to can these days. So our family's gonna eat really good this winter. We're gonna just go ahead and can and do what we have with what we've got. So right now what I'm doing is filling up my big pot here with water. We're gonna get it boiling. I have washed the green beans probably four times because it's so muddy outside. I'll show you how big this pot is here in just a minute. I've actually already washed my jars in the dishwasher and I opened it up while it's still really hot because you want the jars to be hot. So this is what I have full of water. So we're gonna get that boiling. And once we get that boiling, we will be ready to ladle it into our jars. First, we have to get these green beans into the jars. So let's get them packed in here really tight. Sorry if you hear the mower in the background, Corbin's mowing the yard. They got back from getting the new greenhouse. That boy has worked hard today. Now this is called raw pack. You're not, some people want to hot pack them, which means you cook them down or you put them in the pressure cooker or whatever. But this is an easier way. All you do is put as many in there as you can. Pack them in there tight. Sometimes I use a fork to kind of, you know, push them down in there a little bit more. Or just use your hands and your fingers. Smash them in there. Try not to break them though. Want them in there tight. That way they don't float too high to the top. Now, something else that we need to do is I've got the pressure canner and I'm going to fill it with water. But it'll be easier if I can just go ahead and get this boiling a little bit. Just to speed up the process. Because it takes a while for that heat to get going so that your pressure gets where it needs to be. And I'll explain that a little bit here when we get to that part. Okay, so do you hear that rattle sound? We finally figured out what we're doing here. And it's been a little while since I've canned anything. We canned a lot one year, it's been a few years ago, and we haven't really needed to can since then. The green beans, I have, I think, eight jars in this. And if it, we make sure, I hope, <laughs> it's at 10 pounds pressure. So what you do is you put your jars in there, you make sure the lid is sealed tight and those are lined up together. And you put your little jiggler thing on there, <laughs> put it on the tin for 10 pounds for green beans, means 10 pounds of pressure. And you set your timer for 20 minutes and then you have 
your green beans ready and you let them sit for probably 24 hours before I would eat any, but I would probably at least wait that long. All right, everybody, we are done packing out greenhouses today. Corbin got all the yards mowed around the greenhouses and our house and the barn. He's worked his little caboose off today. So we decided we'd have a guy's night down here at the creek. And this is our hammock set up overlooking the creek. Watch the sun set after a while. Corbin down here playing in the water. He's went swimming already once. It's a pretty good setup for a guy's night. Oh, good. This is what happens when you work your butt off all day. We brought charcoal. Actually, Dave hooked us up with everything. We just kind of showed up. Dave said, come down to Cousin Dave's Outfitter Service. And he gave us everything we need to go camping, didn't he? Yep. We got hot dogs. We got snacks. We got stuff for s'mores. We got a creek. What are you reading? What'd you bring? Diary of a Wimpy Kid. The third wheel, Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Mm-hmm. I'm reading Kogan's Woods. It's about growing up hunting in Kentucky. It's hot dogs for the wind, isn't it? Mm-hmm. They hit the spot. What are you doing? Packing the rest of the stuff back up. You know it's 5.30, don't you? you can't tell I'm sweating to death already I have been trimming my flowers some of you all it's gonna hurt your heart and it's kind of hurt mine a little bit but I just kind of want to show you why I'm doing it and um, why I've probably waited too late and now they're at the point where they're falling over and they're kind of breaking so today I'm probably gonna clip almost all the blooms off which is gonna look bad for a little while but it's gonna come back so no worries, let me show you what it looks like right now. So everybody probably remembers, if you've been here, this thing is just, it's massive. It almost looks like a bush. But this is what I have already taken off. As you can see, there was another plant in here and it was called White Knight. It was very popular. That thing got out of control. It grew and grew and grew and it wanted to spread throughout things. But guess what? So did the white petunias. I like everything to look full, but also, you gotta remember, things get huge. And I had two white knights in there, and I've never had upright petunias. It, they got really big, and all the ones on the sides here got heavy, and they spewed over like this because of being so heavy. Because we've got one, two, three, four. Uh, there's only four plants in here, guys. This thing got huge. Check out all those mums. Isn't that just gorgeous? I mean, look at this one. Oh yeah, as you can see, my spirited husband and son, they are over there planting our sunflowers. Yay! Happy 4th of July, guys. Well, 
we have trimmed our flowers and now we're going to take a look at the tomatoes. I don't want to show you all where we are on the growth of the garden. It's getting big and we have lots of tomatoes, but they are all green and big and the corn, it's almost there. So I was not kidding, we have tomatoes for days. We will have a lot when they come on, it's gonna be crazy. Something else I wanna show you that's out of control is the watermelon and cantaloupe. Look at here. All right, so they started out really small, but wow. They're just everywhere. Right here is a pepper plant. It's taking over the pepper plant. I promise that's a pepper plant, look. Peppers, look at that. Woo-wee! Can't wait to eat that. This rain has really helped us out. So now that I've given you the grand tour and showed you how to trim back your flowers that you may have, some of you all, when you were here in the spring, told me, I'm scared of petunias. Well, my petunias have done great. I have not touched them until today. Like I say, I probably am going to wish that I had done it sooner. But you have to prune things back or they do get heavy and then they get stringy and then they stop blooming. So that's why they typically look bad. But now I'm going to go in the house while the boys are still planting sunflowers. I've been to Howard's Harvest Market this morning where we got our Chinese chocolate milk and regular milk. And we also got this. Yeah, we got 75 bales of straw today and we have loaded it from the field and we are bringing it in our greenhouse now so that we can sell this for you all in the fall and decorate with it here. So we're going to finish unloading this. Stink, man. Don't be saying, boss lady stinks. She smells terrible. Maybe you should check yourself. No, I stink. I'm okay with it. Oh, I'm not kidding. <laughs> 